everybody, welcome back to the channel. Of course my air conditioner turns on right when I start up the video. Ah, it's another beautiful day here in, uh, we'll call it sunny Ohio. Um, it seems like things are really starting to dry out here. We've had a, we had a bunch of rain, but it kind of died off there. and Got sunshine and heat and everything you want for summer. So... Just out here in the shop doing some uh, doing some work, working on some working on this large uh, wholesale order and packing up some axe handles. Um, I do have a couple axe handles left on my Etsy shop, a bunch of cruisers, and then I think there's one one thirty inch double bit and hatchet handles. But uh, other than that, we're running pretty low, so I suspect he'll probably. Be calling me in the next couple weeks here with another batch of handles um, so that'll be fun uh, what else is going on up uh, Etsy just a quick Etsy shop update I did take I did take down my suspenders and belts for now um, that was just so that I could concentrate on this large order without any interruptions once I'm done with this I'll put those back up uh, for availability um, and then hopefully here in the future, I'll have some new products to offer on my Etsy shop as well. I'm trying to integrate some, some products that, um, I have on hand or can make quickly and then have them available on the Etsy shop to fill in between, um, wholesale orders just to keep things rolling. Uh, I want to apologize about yesterday's video. Um, it was a long video. It was 50 minutes, 50 plus minutes long. Um, I, I, I went back and forth on whether or not to uh, um, upload that long of a video. And uh, I, I thought, well, I could break this down into four or five videos. But I figured, you know what? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna put it in one shot, and if anybody wants to watch it, they can. If if not, then they don't have to watch it. Um, with that being said, most folks are not watching it to the end, <laughs> which is fine. I get it um, because I put a little nugget in there, um, a little assignment for you folks. A couple guys caught it, uh, most didn't. So. Pretty much, I have a surprise. Um, I'm going to reveal it now, sort of. Unless something like majorly goes wrong in the next few days, or even week, I don't know how long it's going to be. I bought a tractor. Now, I'm not going to tell you what tractor I bought. I want to have a little bit of fun with that. So this is your chance. Leave your leave your comment below on what tractor you think I bought. Um, one of the attachments that I want for the tractor, they had to get. They didn't have it, uh, so it's supposed to take a couple days, and then they have to install it. So I'm hoping I'm hoping next week we'll have a new tractor on property here. Um, I struggled around with with that for a while because it's a lot of money to spend and uh, I, I, I was hoping that I could just get this Ford 8 in and it, it would just work for us um, for, for the most part it does um, it, it's not a bad tractor it, it can do most of everything I want to do but there's a few things that I want to do that it can't do. So I would have to rent machinery or borrow from a neighbor. And for the amount of times I'm going to need like a loader to do to move stone or dirt, um, it doesn't really make a lot of sense to keep renting. And then the other problem is, is I don't really have a way to haul a piece of equipment. All I have is my Jeep and a small trailer and, you know, its towing capacity isn't great. So... That, that brings in challenges. Then you have to line up uh, a vehicle to tow it with. 
go get it, uh, rush around. It's just, it doesn't make sense, it, and it doesn't fit into my busy lifestyle. So I decided I'm just going to go ahead and get the tractor now, get it over with, and then I'll have it, and hopefully, uh, hopefully it'll help me get things done. Wow. All of a sudden this, the sun went away and the wind picked up. I don't think they're calling for rain today. So anyways, that's the big surprise. Uh, I got a tractor. Um, it is new. That's that's all the more I'm going to tell you. You guys got to guess. I want to see. I want to see what you guys think I bought. I, I, I think that'll be fun. Um. So like I said, that should be here next week, and then uh, we're really excited about it because there's, there's a ton of projects I want to start on and. I'm on vacation in like three weeks or something to look, but I'm on vacation in like three weeks and it'd be perfect timing if it gets here. I'll, I'll be, I'll be able to get some stuff done as long as it doesn't rain. So my neighbor's out on his tractor right now. Man, it's nice out. It's hard to get anything done. So anyways, just out here in the shop, just doing some things, getting stuff uh, made and sh stuff packed up and shipped out. Um, I'll talk about this axe that I just built. It's a... Um, so, it's a finish axe. I've, I kind of got bit by the finish bug a little bit. I can get this other one out. I want you guys to see the comparison here. So this is an actual Bill Nass. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry. Bill Nass 12-2 um, or something like that. I can't remember. the normal, Maybe it's on there. The nomenclature. I don't know. These are cool, cool axes. They're very unique. Um, this one was uh, put together by... Beaver Creek Woodcraft, my uh, good friend Matthew Justice. Um, I commissioned him to actually make, uh, do this for me. Uh, he had the head. I bought it from him and paid him to make me a handle and hang it. And he did a fantastic job. So I really like it. Um, I like the, the finished style axes. They're very cool, unique axes. Um, they have a very thick bit profile. So they're really good at splitting, but they're also... They're also pretty good at carving too, you know, not like you're not going to carve a spoon. Eh, maybe you could, but either way. Um, but this is a camp axe, you know, this is a short, whatever it is, two pound cap, camp axe. I don't know how long it is. Um, I guess I can measure it. Off the cuff, 19 inch handle overall. So good it's it works good for around the uh campfire and you know cutting up saplings and and splitting i use this thing a lot believe it or not out in the woods just i'll carry it with me and if i need to cut a little sapling down or trim a branch off a tree or and then i use it to split kindling in the winter time um so anyways i have a few more of these heads but i just haven't hung them um i think they're kind of neat and uh so I got into the finish axes a little bit, and then there's a, I think it's called a, it's a, it's a 17, and, and basically it's a real wide, wide bit finish axe, like this one. But it's very rare, and it's very hard to get. So, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to butcher his name, Mar Marcius Lip Lippis of ML Blacksmith or something like that on Instagram makes axes so i contacted him and and showed him a couple pictures of what i was after and said i'd like to purchase one so this is what he came up with it's absolutely gorgeous um i've used it already so it's a little it's no longer mirror polish but it was mirror polish when it came to me um that's not a big deal to me i i don't typically on my user axes mirror polish anything because it looks like this after you use it. 
focus, focus, not going to focus. Um, so it's just, it's just kind of a waste of time, but that's okay. Um, he did a gorgeous, gorgeous job. So I had this thing, I've, I have, I've had this for over a year. I got it like a year ago and I, I was going to make a handle for it because nobody, well, I don't know if people sell replacement handles or not, but his eye is very unique. It's like a big oval <coughs> square tubing. So I was going to make a handle for it and that just kept getting pushed off and pushed off and pushed off. And I'm like, you know what? I want to hang this axe because I want to use it. What do I got? Well, turns out the French curve, because it has such a huge eye on it, had plenty of meat to accommodate this head. So I took a red elm French curve and fitted it to the uh, fitted it to the handle. Is that a word? Fitted it, and it came out absolutely awesome. Um, the The front of the eye looks like there's a gap up there, and there's not really. It's it's more of a chamfer. So um, I don't know, and maybe I took a little more than I should have, but it's it's perfectly acceptable um that head ain't going nowhere especially with all that extra collar on there and then you know this is tight all the way inside i mean it's it's not going nowhere so it's about a three and a half pound head and you're looking at an overall length of about 30 inches you know so in the handle weighs handle weighs roughly a pound a little over a pound so about four and a half pounds of pure medieval <laughs> sexiness. Um, I got, I went real big on this, on the Fawn's foot. I like those big beefy Fawn's foot. So I went real big on that. That's what's nice about these French curve handles is they're so versatile and there's so much you can do with them. There's plenty of meat to work with and they're still thin where, where they need to be. It really is a good design. My buddy, uh, Leaf Buck, B Bacchus of Adirondacks Wilderness Co. Check him out on YouTube. He designed this French curve, the original one, and uh, that's the one we used to copy it to get them made. So... I'm super happy about this this axe and I'm looking forward to, to finally getting some use out of it. I've split up a couple pieces of wood with it and it just annihilates it, as you can imagine. I mean, it's got a big, nice, big, thick bit. You know, and then look at how big the pole is. I mean, but it would also be fine for uh, chopping down a tree or doing some carving, maybe some hewing. Get that pole back there. Use that for a wedge banger if you want. Oh, it's a little... I guess you could probably wedge bang with that. I don't know. So, I guess at some point here, I got I have an idea for some leather work for this. and I'll, I'll get to that when I get some extra time. I just made a joke. Oh, so, anyways, that's pretty much it for today, I think. I'm going to wrap this video up and then... Uh, trying to edit it real quick and get it out to you guys yet still today um i gotta do a few more things here in the shop and then it's gonna be time to go feed all the animals and uh get ready for work <laughs> so um big weekend coming up i'm gonna be real busy doing leather work all weekend long um i'll try to shoot some video you know during the weekend um get things uh get things going on the youtube channel again um i have plans to go over some of the stuff that i've been using for leather work and tools and just stuff that i like and use and, and um i've always been hesitant of of talking about some of the things that i i buy and use for for many reasons like there's a lot of youtubers out there that that ha are getting paid to do that you know the companies are either sending them the tools or they're sending them the tools and paying them money to talk about their stuff you know it's called advertising and it's hard for me to i don't know i've always felt it like why should i do it for free you know 
if you're willing to pay or at least give tools to some guys to talk about them, you know, I should get them too. I don't know. But then I thought, that's being selfish. That's stupid. I'm not a big YouTuber. Um, what? Why not just talk about what I use and, and I can give you guys full honest opinions because I paid for it. So I'm going to start spreading that around and talking about some of the things, you know, maybe we'll go over the sewing machine one day and uh, I'll go through my toolbox my my leather toolbox and just you know like the kmg grinder and just the stuff i use and uh it's all stuff i paid for i've got nothing for free so i can give you honest opinions and i think it'll be good i'm not going to start a review channel um this isn't going to turn into a review channel I, i'm just not that good at reviews and i just don't that's not the direction i want to go in um i want this to be more about inspiring you than trying to sell you something so and that's the other reason why i'm kind of hesitant on talking about some of the things i don't i don't want to be like a salesman you know if i'm passionate about a product that i bought then it might come off as oh you're just trying to sell it but you know that's not the case at all uh i'm not going to get any money for you guys buying anything that i talked about other than if you buy one of my products um so, and, and I need to do a better job of reviewing my own products. Um, or reviewing, showing, talking about, using, stuff like that. So, we'll, we'll sprinkle some of that stuff in here in the future. Um, you know, we got chainsaws that, that I've experienced now. We got... Uh, weed eaters we could talk about i'm really happy about this used weed eater i bought to steal it's amazing but that's for another video anyways um so yeah i'm gonna wrap this up because i'm just rambling and i got nothing else to say so we'll see you guys maybe tomorrow maybe the next day um but until then thanks for watching click thumbs up hit subscribe see ya